If this is the first time that you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. In the quest for a cleaner, more sustainable energy future, hydrogen has emerged as a beacon of hope. This abundant element, when used as a fuel, holds the promise of powering our world while emitting nothing more than water vapor. But this promise comes with a catch, a cosmic caveat if you will. Hydrogen, you see, is also highly flammable. It burns with an invisible flame, and when it ignites it does so with a ferocious intensity that demands our respect. Throughout history there have been incidents, moments where hydrogen's immense power has been tragically demonstrated. These events, though often etched in tragedy, serve as stark reminders of the importance of vigilance, of understanding the forces we're dealing with when we invite hydrogen into our lives. They underscore the need for rigorous safety protocols, for constant innovation in handling and storage, and for a healthy dose of cosmic perspective. In this exploration we'll journey through time revisiting five significant hydrogen-related accidents. From the ashes of disaster, we'll unearth the lessons learned, the knowledge gained, and the advancements made in our ongoing pursuit of harnessing hydrogen's potential while mitigating its inherent risks. The year is 1937. Imagine a world on the cusp of technological marvels. The Hindenburg, a behemoth of the skies, a zeppelin larger than a football field, represented the pinnacle of air travel. This majestic airship, filled with over 7 million cubic feet of hydrogen, promised a luxurious and swift transatlantic journey. On May 6, as the Hindenburg approached Lakehurst, New Jersey, a fire ignited. In a matter of seconds, the airship, once a symbol of human ingenuity, was engulfed in flames crashing to the ground, taking 36 lives with it. The exact cause of the disaster remains a subject of debate, but the Hindenburg's fiery demise served as a harsh reminder of hydrogen's volatile nature. The Hindenburg disaster sent shockwaves around the world, casting a long shadow over the use of hydrogen in airships. Public confidence in this seemingly miraculous technology evaporated overnight, leading to a decline in airship travel and a shift towards helium, a less efficient but far safer lifting gas. The Hindenburg, forever etched in our collective memory, became a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the importance of understanding and respecting the power of hydrogen. Fast forward to 2011. The world watched in horror as a tsunami triggered by a magnitude 9.0 earthquake slammed into the coast of Japan. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, designed to withstand powerful tremors, found itself overwhelmed by the sheer force of nature. The ensuing disaster, a cascade of equipment failures and meltdowns, released radioactive material into the environment, becoming the most severe nuclear accident since Chernobyl. While the earthquake and tsunami were the catalysts for this tragedy, hydrogen played a critical and explosive role in the unfolding events. As the reactor cores overheated, a process known as zirconium water reaction occurred, generating large quantities of hydrogen gas. This highly flammable gas accumulated within the reactor buildings, creating a dangerous and volatile environment. On March 12, just days after the tsunami, a massive explosion rocked the Fukushima Daiichi plant, the culprit, a hydrogen explosion triggered by a spark or heat source. The blast ripped through the reactor building releasing radioactive material into the atmosphere and further complicating efforts to contain the crisis. The Fukushima disaster served as a stark reminder that hydrogen, even in the most controlled environments, can pose significant risks. Let's rewind the clock to December 1966, to the heartland of America. In the small town of Enid, Oklahoma, tragedy struck at the grain elevator operated by the Farmers Cooperative Association. The Knudsen Elevator, a towering structure designed to store and process vast quantities of wheat, became the epicenter of a catastrophic explosion, killing seven people and injuring 34 others. The culprit in this disaster was not a deliberate act of malice, but rather an accidental ignition of grain dust. Grain dust, a byproduct of handling and processing grain, is highly combustible, and when dispersed in the air, can ignite with explosive force. But what does this have to do with hydrogen, you might ask? The answer lies in the aftermath of the explosion. The intense heat generated by the initial grain dust explosion created a secondary hazard, the release of hydrogen gas. 
as the metal structures of the elevator heated to extreme temperatures, they reacted with water used in firefighting efforts producing copious amounts of hydrogen. This hydrogen, mixing with the already volatile atmosphere, ignited in a series of secondary explosions, further fueling the inferno and hampering rescue efforts. The Knudsen explosion stands as a tragic reminder of the unexpected ways in which hydrogen can contribute to industrial accidents. January 28, 1986. The Space Shuttle Challenger stood poised on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, a symbol of American ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of exploration. On board were seven astronauts, ready to embark on a mission that had captured the imagination of the world. Among them was Krista McAuliffe, a schoolteacher chosen to be the first civilian in space. As the countdown reached zero, the powerful engines roared to life, and Challenger lifted off, majestically ascending into the clear Florida sky. But just 73 seconds into its flight, tragedy struck. A plume of white smoke appeared, growing rapidly into a massive fireball that engulfed the shuttle. The world watched in stunned silence as Challenger, once a symbol of hope and progress, disintegrated into a rain of debris over the Atlantic Ocean. The investigation that followed revealed that the disaster was caused by the failure of an O-ring seal in the solid rocket booster. This failure allowed hot gases, fueled by a mixture of aluminum and ammonium perchlorate, to escape. While not directly related to hydrogen as a fuel source, the Challenger disaster highlights the importance of meticulous engineering, rigorous safety protocols, and the unforgiving nature of operating in extreme environments. March 1, 2005. In Port Allen, Louisiana, an industrial facility operated by Praxair, a company specializing in industrial gases, became the scene of a powerful explosion. The blast sent shockwaves through the surrounding area, injuring several workers and causing significant damage to the facility, the source of this explosion, a leak in a hydrogen storage tank. The investigation into the Praxire incident revealed that the hydrogen leak likely originated from a faulty valve in a high-pressure storage tank. The escaping hydrogen, invisible to the naked eye, accumulated within the confined space of the facility, creating a highly flammable atmosphere. It is believed that the hydrogen found an ignition source, perhaps a spark from machinery or static electricity, leading to the devastating explosion. The Praxire explosion serves as a stark reminder of the importance of proper hydrogen storage and handling procedures. Hydrogen, being the smallest and most abundant element in the universe, can easily escape through even the tiniest of leaks. This incident highlighted the need for robust leak detection systems, proper ventilation in storage areas, and rigorous maintenance protocols to prevent similar accidents from occurring in the future. From the ashes of the Hindenburg to the wreckage of Fukushima from grain elevators to the vastness of space, these incidents, though separated by time and circumstance, share a common thread, a profound respect for hydrogen's power and the importance of unwavering vigilance in its presence. The lessons learned from these accidents have driven advancements in safety protocols, technological innovation, and regulatory oversight. We've developed more robust storage solutions, implemented stricter safety regulations, and engineered systems with multiple layers of redundancy to prevent accidents and mitigate their impact. Yet, the pursuit of a hydrogen-powered future requires more than just technological prowess, it demands a deep-seated culture of safety. As we stand on the cusp of a hydrogen revolution, let us remember that with great power comes great responsibility. The future of energy is bright, but it is up to us, through continued vigilance, innovation, and a commitment to safety, to ensure that hydrogen's promise outweighs its peril. If you want us to make this kind of video, make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe.